Hi everybody, it's your handy dandy physics teacher, Miss Raina, coming to you from C347 to get started with our physics math boot camp. Take out your worksheet entitled Math Boot Camp Notes, Day 1. We're going to begin on the side that reads, number one, order of operations. Here we go. So, can we arrive at different answers if we evaluate a problem in a different order? Well, yeah. Or well, I wouldn't be asking. Now, the question is, what's the mnemonic that we use to remember our order of operations? Hmm, I don't know. What's a mnemonic? Um, turns out it's a memory aid. A mnemonic means it's something that helps to remember processes or lists. So, let's try this again. What is the mnemonic we use to remember our order of operations? So, no, it's not Zopta. Not DST. If you chose PEMDAS, you got it right. So, PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. At this point, pause the video so you can write down what each letter stands for, then hit play again, and we'll continue with an example. Okay, right now, you should have written down what each letter in PEMDAS stands for. Now that you hit play again, we're going to try an example. So, find this on your page as well. Remember, we're going to do this from left to right as much as we can. Um, to get started, I'm just going to rewrite the expression. So, bear with me. This is a little bit messy because I'm getting used to the smart board. Start by just rewriting the expression. That, where do I begin? How do I know? I'm going to start with the T in PEMDAS. Stands for evaluate the parentheses. So, this expression equals... 2 plus 6, inside the parentheses, I got 3 plus 1, also known as 4. And I've got to remember to rewrite the rest of this stuff. So the next step says i got to do the E in PEMDAS, evaluate the exponent. Rewriting, I get 2 plus 6 times 4 squared, easy. It's 16. The next step says... Let me do multiplication and division. So this is going to equal 2 plus 6 times 16. There's the multiplication. If I want to, I'll punch it in the calculator. I get 96. Last step, do the addition and subtraction. That expression equals 2 plus 96. Easy. I get 98. My PEMDAS chart is up and down. On your paper, it's sideways. It's fine. It's the same thing either way. Let's move on to the next example. Okay. How many different answers can we possibly get for 70 minus 2 times the quantity of 5 plus 2? Um, any number if we do them wrong. What's the correct answer? Let's start by doing the P in PEMDAS. So... 70 minus 2 times, and there's the P for parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we got 5 plus 2. Evaluates to 7. Let's keep going. We don't have any exponents, so we don't have to worry about that. I do see multiplication, though. So we do 70 minus 2 times 7. We get 14. I don't have any division. Um, the next step in PEMDAS is addition and subtraction. This time I don't have any addition, but I do have subtraction. So 70 minus 14, 56. Those expressions are equal all the way down. And there's my final answer. Again, sorry, it's messy. I'm getting used to the smart board. Okay, turn your paper over now to the side entitled Algebraic Representations. What does that mean? Um, in one word, algebraic representations means language. We're going to take English and turn it into math, take math and turn it into English. Solving problems requires you to represent missing or unknown quantities. So you can fill in the blanks. So let's take apart the language. It's easy if you can understand the language. What do these words mean? Let's take them one by one. Add. The plus sign can be represented by anything from add to plus. 
um, take a moment, pause this video, write down all of the words in English that can mean addition in math. Okay, let's move on to subtraction. Um, all of these things in English can mean subtraction in math. Pay attention to this one here, less than, because it's going to reverse the order of the algebraic expression. At this point, pause the video, write down all the terms that mean subtraction in math. Okay, moving on. Here are all the words that mean multiply. Pause the video again. Write down all the words that mean multiply in math. Lastly, here are all the words that mean divide. One more time, pause the video. Write down all the words that mean divide. So, working at your own pace here, see if you can take these words, you know, these expressions in English, turn them into algebraic expression and then take the algebraic expressions, turn them into words. Pause the video while you're working. Play the video again when you're ready. Let's see how it goes. Okay, if we wanted to say two more than a number in math, you can write two plus x. Easy. Here's something a little more complicated. We got five less than three times the number. If you started with the number five, this phrase right here got you. Pay attention to that issue of the words less than. That'll change the order of the algebraic expression. So now let's try the other way. We have 7x plus 4. We want to change that into words. How would you do it? You can say 7 times the number increased by 4. That's not the only way to do it, but it's a valid example. Um, again, there are other valid examples, but you can say 6 decreased by 5 times the number to denote this algebraic expression right here, 6 minus 5x. All right, so um, we're done with your flip video notes. Your job now is to write down a question for me to answer next time for you during class. Is there something about this that was a little bit confusing, or do you have a comment that's going to help me make these flip videos easier for you in the future? Thanks a lot for watching and listening, and we'll see you in class.